I am Mr. Vaibhav Pralladrao Kulkarni, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In the last sessions, we have discussed about the structure of the PLM, how PLM is built in various strata and how it is organized in various functions and throughout the cross-functional organization structure. For this session, we will be having a overview on what are the various components of product life cycle management. Let us move with the first slide. The learning outcomes. At the end of the session, learners will be able to understand various components of product life cycle management. Let us begin the session with a simple representation that representation is making it a sense where the core of this figure would be the components which makes a PLM as an integrated system. What are the elements which are interacting with this element? Then we have to have the requirements which are proposed by the customer. Then it's conceptual design. Then we are having the detailed design of that particular component where the information like the process sheet and the various types of production planning would be started. Then we go for the actual product development. This product development is going to lead to the manufacturing using the CAPP tools that is the process planned tools which we have made at the product development stage. Here the manufacturing goes into the use and maintenance part where the after sales services like uh, these services which we want to give it to the customer after the sales like warranty period then its regular maintenance and the annual maintenance contract as such. So these all comes under the category of use and its maintenance. Then we are having the final one, it's recycling. Either the product will be in its reincarnation form or it will go out of the market. Here is the core. The core is the PLM groupware tools, which involves essentially number one, the data management systems, which are processing about the database. So database is nothing but it is the informations which are being collected with these many interactions like requirements, conceptual design, detailed design, product development, manufacturing, use and maintenance and its decline. Workflow management is the type of uh, processes and sequence of operations that we are operating on the particular product. A project management that a plan which goes like what would be the stipulated duration of completion of this total uh, product cycle that is a project management tools which are available at our end then we are having the application integration part of it where various applications like suppose for CAD modeling we are using a commercial software for a CAPP we are having a another software for a maintenance part of it, a ERP or maybe the supply chain management, if we want to extend, we are having CRM type of a softwares, which needs to be integrated together. And that interface has to be made to the PLM groupware tools. In this context, the groupware means there is a integration of various types of software tools which are available at our disposal so that we can integrate them together these makes the components of plm what are these various types of components now let us see one by one number one is the document management document management is very vital because it could be able to store track and manage all the data which is associated with the product as well as the product development processes okay so the data which we are essentially going to collect rather build 
in storing, tracking and managing these data, we need document management. It includes everything which starts with the drawings, maybe the graphics as well, and the text formats right through the engineering calculations as well. A comprehensive document needs to be built so that management makes it easier to track any data change and monitor the access to these documents by creating a single and central data store from where that can be accessed. So document management is the first component of PLM. Second one is the embedded visualization. Embedded visualization allows for collaboration. Collaboration across the countries as well between mechanical department and electrical department where these two departments they will interact. What is the centralized digital product information what we call on that in central information these two departments are having their different notions. Their intention may be something different but they will able to access the centralized digital product information. Again, it also makes it possible to view any product data without authentication from the native tools. So this essential data without authentication also you can able to access from the embedded visualization which is essentially the second component of PLM. The third one is the workflow. This component of PLM solution makes it possible to define the product development process fully through a very standardized method. It also ensures that all processes and procedures are adhered to and all necessary related tasks are being taken care of. So that workflow is needs to be validated with the PLM solution. The fourth part of a component is distributed collaboration. Now as we are living in the era of big data, IoT, smart products or maybe SMAC is what we are using the word for them that is social, mobile, uh, then analytical and analytics and then goes with the cloud. With these, it is the demand that you are working in a cross-functional organization, not only indigenously. So we are located at Solapur. So Solapur, not with Pune and Mumbai and metropolitan cities like Hyderabad and Bangalore, but essentially throughout the subcontinents, it should able to make the collaboration and co-creation. Companies increasingly operate across multiple locations not at single locations with internal and external partners the distributed collaboration means both the individual and larger teams can work concurrently simultaneously on a single project with all data securely protected regardless of their locations this is the beauty of distributed collaboration the fifth and very essential part of this component of PLM is multi-CAD data management. This is a control over the CAD related files, the all CAD data with different CAD tools. The tools may be commercial softwares available like CATIA, the Unigraphics, then ANSYS tools maybe the Fusion 360 type of a tools, the Dassault company's tools. All these CAD tools we need to integrate together. It offers a central point of all CAD data, while it also manages the dependent CAD relationship during the product development. Complete bill of material management, that is BOM management, manage and track all different aspects of product development and the definitions of the data. Complete bill of material that is BOM management covers the entire process across all disciplines. It gives a better control and offers engineers more insights into the potential impact of any change that they are going to make. This is the BOM management, sixth component. 
Seventh and the last one is change and configuration management. Good communication is essential where the change of configuration management comes in picture. It makes sure that everyone is aware of each process right from the designing stage through servicing and throughout the entire product life cycle. Any change needs to be reflected at each levels. These are the seven components of PLM. The references which we have used for this are Product Life Cycle Management by Mikhail Greaves, Tata Magra Hill Publication, a textbook on product design and development by Carl T. Ulrich and Stephen Ippinger. Thank you.